Hey guys, Tony DeNaro here. Welcome back to the channel on Monday, May 9th after the market closes. AMC is going to be releasing its Q1 2022 earnings. I'm going to be talking with you in this video about what you should expect after the bell. Let's get right into it. Things have gotten off to a fairly brisk pace in 2022 with the Batman releasing on March 4th, bringing in $369 million in the domestic box office. Spider-Man No Way Home released in Q4 back in December, but we got some carryover with Spider-Man, bringing in an additional $231 million in Q1. And let's talk about Doctor Strange just released on May 6th, just a couple days ago already bringing in huge numbers, $90 million on its first day. That is double what the Batman did on its first day. And I can't wait to see the total weekend numbers for Doctor Strange, both here domestically and globally. On Friday, May 6, AMC closed the day at $13.76. Let's take a quick look at what Morningstar is showing as the current fair value for AMC stock. As you can see here on the Morningstar site, they have fair value for AMC calculated at $30.87. That means with Friday's close, AMC is trading at a 55% discount to fair value. Q1 box office numbers for 2022 came in just over 1.3 billion, not quite where we needed to be compared to where we were pre-pandemic in 2020 at 1.78 billion but still a very healthy recovery from the 2021 numbers of $236 million. So how are these box office numbers going to translate into revenue and earnings per share for AMC for Q1? Well, I went through the data and crunched the numbers and I've got my estimates for you. Let's go through them and then tomorrow when the market closes, we will find out how close I was. Going back and looking at the 2020 and 2021 box office numbers by quarter and then comparing that to the Q1 numbers of 1.3 billion, my estimate for AMC revenue in this quarter is going to come in right around $746 million. Now this $746 million revenue number is not as high clearly as Q4 2021, which came in at 1.1 billion. Adam Aaron did cover this in the last quarterly earnings review phone call and this number is expected to be lower in Q1 than Q4. That's just the way that the calendar works in the movie industry. Moving into the earnings per share, we want to know what are the analysts that are covering AMC expecting because we want to know are we going to meet, are we going to beat, or are we going to disappoint? I found seven analysts covering AMC and on the low side, the most pessimistic came in at negative 88 cents per share. On average, the expectation is negative 63 cents per share, and the most optimistic came in at negative 36 cents per share. Based on my estimate for the Q1 revenue, I am going to estimate that the earnings per share for AMC and Q1 is going to come in at negative 43 cents. Again, not as good as the previous quarter Q4 where we came in at negative 26 cents, but revenue was much higher in Q4. Again, all of this is expected, so don't freak out. This is just how the movie calendar works in the business. And look back at the Q1 number from a year ago, this estimate that I have represents a 70% improvement from Q1 of 2021, which was negative $1.42 EPS. Now that we've talked about what to expect for Q1 earnings on Monday, May 9th, let's just take a sneak preview into Q2. We've had some big movies already release in April, and we have got some powerhouse titles coming in late May and June. Sonic the Hedgehog has been the number one of Q2, currently grossing $165 million. We already talked about Doctor Strange. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, $83 million. Morbius, $71 million. And the bad guys coming in at $50 million so far in Q2. Coming up on May 27th, the movie that many of us have been waiting for, Top Gun Maverick. I already got my tickets. I hope you got yours. We're seeing ours on May 25th. There are in certain cities special screenings where you can see it on May 24th as well. 
And on June 10th, the next installment in the Jurassic World series, Jurassic World Dominion, this one also promises to be huge. June 17th, we've got another release from Walt Disney Studios, Lightyear, a continuation in the Buzz Lightyear saga. And on June 24th, we've got the Elvis biography, which from the previews looks like it is going to be a pretty good movie. I'm looking forward to that one. In theaters, they're also now teasing the release of Avatar, The Way of the Water, the next installment in the Avatar series, although this one is not releasing until December of 2022. I want to thank you for hanging out with me and taking a look at my estimates for AMC's Q1 2022 revenue and earnings per share. We will find out together live after the market closes on Monday just how accurate my guesses were. Be sure and tune in to the Tony DeNaro channel. I'll be streaming when the market opens and during power hour all the way through the end of AMC's earnings call. If this is your first time here, don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video. So you wanna